Muni majors, there's still a mess across the city. Some of the pavement options malfunctioning. When will they be fixed and will drivers be getting tickets? CBS 2's Kieran Dillon pressed the Department of Transportation for some answers. More than 24 hours after the glitch was first reported, parking in the city remains problematic. Driver Gus Katsavrius got the bad news. His credit card didn't work in meters at several locations. This is actually the uh, third time this has happened. He's not alone. Parking meters citywide are rejecting credit cards and prepaid parking cards thanks to a software glitch. Turns out the software had an established end date of January 1st, 2020. It was never updated by the vendor. New York City's Department of Transportation says drivers can still pay with coins. You need four rolls of quarters for two hours in many spots or use the Park NYC app on your phone that not everyone knows how to do. Casabrias tried his credit card and the app, but neither worked. They got to step up their technology. You know, bottom line is they got to figure out what's going on, what's causing this glitch and uh, get on top of it. We wanted to know whether drivers who are ticketed because of this malfunction would still have to pay a fine. All the DOT would say in a statement is that anyone who does not pay can still get a ticket. The DOT originally said a spokesperson would provide an on-camera update about exactly what's going on with these meters, but it then went on to push back that interview several times before canceling it entirely. Not a word on camera since the chaos started from the city. Meantime, the glitch puts drivers in a tough spot. I got to get back into my truck now and look for another spot. The DOT says crews are out working to fix the problem, but each meter has to be reset individually. With thousands of meters across the city, officials won't say when they will all be fixed. In Long Island City, Queens, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. And apparently New York is not alone here. DOT says cities around the world that use the same meter software are dealing with similar glitches.